Venus Control Suite is evolving to offer its features as a set of apps. One of these apps is called Web Editor. To access the Web Editor, click your apps up in the top right corner and go to Web Editor. This will open up the Web Editor in a new tab. From here, you can open up any previously existing presentations or create a new presentation. Just like with the previous Web Presentation tool, You'll give your presentation a title and make sure to select the size of your display from the drop down menu. Once you click continue, it's going to give you a black canvas. This is a representation of your display and its proportions. You can change the background color from the right hand side. You can add in text boxes. You can add in images or videos that are located in your media library. You can add in date, time, temperature, or even a countdown feature. You'll also notice that there's individual tabs up in the top right corner. The Properties tab is going to give you all of the properties for whichever element you have selected. If you have an image or video, you can change the fit mode to stretch to fill or scale to fit. Scale to fit is going to make sure it keeps its proportions no matter what size it is. The position section will show you the width and height of your element, as well as how many pixels it's offset from the left side and the top. You can also select the snap elements to snap. You can also select the snap elements to snap the element into place on the edges of your canvas. Properties for text boxes is going to allow you to change the text for your message. Just like with images and videos, you can also change the position for your message, including snapping the elements to the edges of your canvas. And you'll also get different font options. You can change the font that you're using, the size, bold, italicize, or underline your text, change the text color, justify your text on the left, the right, the top or the bottom. You can add a drop shadow or an outline behind your text. You can increase the spacing between your lines of text. And you can make sure that your font looks smooth on your display. The data tab is going to allow you to add in any data sources that you've created. Data sources will be covered in a separate video. The Elements tab is going to show you all of the individual elements you have in your presentation. This includes any text boxes, date, time, temperature, or countdown fields, as well as images and videos. From here, you can lock any of those elements in place so they won't be able to be moved around. You can click this eyeball icon to make them disappear. The two pieces of paper will duplicate that item, and the trash bin icon will delete it. From the Slides tab, you can add multiple slides to a single presentation by clicking on Add Slide to create a new slide, or clicking the two pieces of paper next to a previously existing slide to duplicate it. You can also modify the length of each slide from here as well. Of course, once you're done creating your presentation, always remember to save it. Then you're ready to add that presentation to a playlist and send it out to your Dactronics display.